Hey guys, Miles Catherine here. Um, today on Cameras and Cats, we're talking about the Polaroid Automatic 330 LAN camera. You can still buy the film, but it's not being made anymore, which is incredibly sad because this is definitely one of my top five favorite cameras of all time. Chris and I just went and walked along the river down that way and we took some photos. We were both kind of grumpy, but it's fine. We got through it and we got some cool pictures, which is awesome. This camera, it takes film that is no longer being made, unfortunately, but you can still buy it on eBay. I think like uh, b and Photo still has it. But so right now I have the FP100C film. Um, I only have one shot left because we shot, so there's 10 per box and we shot nine of them. So there's one more left. It's actually really annoying to use because you have to focus with this thing right here. I'll open it for you first. So this is the camera fully open. Um, and you look through this little hole here and you line it up until you see the photo, the like, there's two images. So once they line up, that's when it's in focus. And then you look through this part to be able to see your composition and then you push this button to take the picture. So my favorite part about this camera is that the photos are super crisp. They're like, I don't know, they just look so awesome. If you get it in focus, it just is like the most exciting thing ever. Plus, like the click sounds really cool on the shutter. And when you get to pull it out, it's very, um, what's the word? Satisfying. Satisfying, yes. So the film I have, the FP100C, is ISO 100 film, so it's best for shooting outside. And then they also had the FP3000B film, which is black and white, which I also loved that film too, but that was, they stopped making that a while ago. But I still have like two packs left, so. This camera, well, the first one I ever had was an automatic 100 LAN camera, and my grandpa gave it to me. Then I got this one at Goodwill because I didn't want to use his. It was, I just was, I'm always scared I'm gonna break like my special camera, so I bought this one to replace it. And I got it from Goodwill for like 20 bucks. And this one's pretty cool because it comes in this little protective case. So you can just carry it like this. And this one has the self timer on the back too. It's actually pretty heavy, but not as heavy as the other one I had. So when you buy these cameras, um, you have to get the battery compartment changed because they take, I think, don't think they make the batteries anymore that they used to take. So you have to, I sent mine to Blue Moon Camera, which is in Portland here, and they changed out the battery compartment so that I believe it takes, let's see, double, triple A. So far, I've taken this camera to Paris and Hawaii and across the U.S. twice to Virginia and back. Um, so I'll show some photos that I've taken. And then um, today we were experimenting with like some double exposures and I put like my little prism lens thing in front of it. I'll have to show you guys the photos that I took. But yeah, so if you get a chance, if you see one of those cameras, now is the time to grab it because the film, since it's discontinued, it's not gonna last much longer. And I'm pretty sure the film is actually kind of expensive now, like $20 a box or something for 10 photos. Um, it might even be $30 a box, but. So you need to grab it really fast and try it out because it's like the most magical camera ever. But you have to have patience. It's pretty difficult to use um, to get used to the focusing. And you always have to remember to cock the shutter and then push the button. Um, and now I just cocked it. Dang it, now I gotta take a picture. I'm gonna take a double exposure. Chris just took one of me, so now I'm gonna take one of the bridge. So you pull out this little tab first, and then this is the picture here. You got really gotta grab as far down as you can, because sometimes you can like rip off the tab and then you're doomed. So. Doomed. Well, yeah. Getting ready to see what happens for the double exposure.
Which one is this? This is the one you just took. So I, we just took a photo, but you're supposed to wait 90 seconds, so I'm waiting currently. So right now it's probably about 77 degrees outside. So 90 seconds is how long it's supposed to be. So how long do you think it's been? Probably 90 seconds, right? Yeah, probably about 90 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna peel it now. This is the best part. You take the corner. First time I ever did this, I had no idea what I was doing, but it tells you the instructions right here. Peel off the print diagonally from the, wait, from the corner diagonally. Okay, well that's all for today guys. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cameras and Cats. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and be nice and you can follow me on Instagram at Cameras and Cats or at Miles Catherine. Um, I'll be making weekly videos of reviews, interviews, and arts and crafts so be sure to tune in and check out those videos and have a lovely night. Heart palpitations. This my Extremely long beeping sound. What's happening? <gasps> Gunshots too. Are you serious? Now nah, try fireworks. So so far. Are doing this on purpose? I mean, they probably take like. It's about the Polaroid camera, the land camera, the Polaroid land camera. Dang it. <laughs>